Hello everyone, I'm Isan. In this video, we will compare the camera quality of two Samsung smartphones. The Samsung S22 Ultra series and the latest S23 Ultra series. In this comparison, we will compare the quality of photos and videos taken in various locations and conditions. Additionally, we will also exploring the camera using various lens features and camera modes for a more comprehensive comparison. Firstly, we will be comparing the quality of photos and videos captured at an airport location. After capturing multiple sample photos and videos at the airport, it's clear that the 10x zoom telephoto lens on both smartphones greatly improved the quality of images and videos taken in this location. When comparing the video results captured using the telephoto lens on both smartphones, the videos produced by the Samsung S23 Ultra series are noticeably more detailed, sharper, and clearer than those produced by the S22 Ultra series. Moving on to the comparison of photos, the photos captured by the S22 Ultra tend to have a cool bluish tint, whereas photos captured by the S23 Ultra have warmer and more yellowish hues. Additionally, we have found that the Samsung S23 Ultra series consistently produce photos with better and sharper details. The photos are also sometimes a bit brighter on the S23 Ultra. Then for the photo quality with the 3x zoom telephoto lens and 10x zoom, the S23 Ultra series can produce photos with slightly better details compared to the S22 Ultra. The difference is immediately apparent when comparing the part of the photos that contain text. For photos that contain text on the S23 Ultra, it looks more detailed and sharper than the photos on the S22 Ultra. Then when we compare the video results in backlight conditions, the S23 Ultra series captures slightly more detailed footage, which is especially noticeable in the foliage parts. When comparing the 10x zoom telephoto lens video on these two smartphones, the S23 Ultra series produces slightly better contrast and sharpness compared to the S22 Ultra. Then when comparing photos taken on these two smartphones, the main camera on both smartphones appears almost identical. However, when taking photos with the 3x and 10x zoom lens, the S23 Ultra series produce slightly more detailed and sharper image. Additionally, the HDR feature on the S22 Ultra series sometimes produces inconsistent results when taking photos of neon signs. Whereas the S23 Ultra series consistently produce better and more consistent photos of the same neon signs. Furthermore, when testing with a 3x zoom and 10x zoom telephoto lens in this photo comparison, the S23 Ultra series consistently produce better and clearer details in photos. Then for the front-facing camera photos on both smartphones, it looks quite the same and the quality isn't too much different. The only noticeable difference is in the background blur, which appears to be more pronounced in the S22 Ultra. Next, we will test the video stabilization on these two smartphones with super steady mode. After testing the super steady mode on both smartphones, we notice that there are some significant differences between these two smartphones. In terms of video stability, the S22 Ultra with super steady mode appears to be better compared to the S22 Ultra. Additionally, the video details on the S23 Ultra series appear to be sharper and clearer. However, in some video condition, the S23 Ultra appears slightly darker compared to the S22 Ultra. Nevertheless, even though the S23 Ultra appears slightly darker, it is able to capture more details in the video in such conditions. In addition, the S23 Ultra series is capable of producing videos with better contrast and HDR compared to the S22 Ultra. So here it can be concluded that the S23 Ultra series is superior in terms of video stabilization with a significant improvement compared to its predecessor. Next, in the same location at part during daytime, we also reviewed the front-facing camera on both smartphones. Here we found some differences in the video results captured by the front-facing cameras. In terms of dynamic range and its HDR features, the S23 Ultra produced superior video results with the front-facing camera compared to the S23 S22 Ultra. This is noticeable in the background with clouds appearing clearer and the cloud color appearing bluer. Meanwhile, in the S22 Ultra video, a blur effect is much blur on the background, giving an interesting depth of field effect. As a result, the object details in the background appear less clear and are more noticeable and clear in the S23 Ultra series. 
Apart from that, you can also see that the face look more detailed in the S22 Ultra series. Four color saturation in the captured videos appear more vibrant and lively in the S22 Ultra. In terms of color saturation, the S22 Ultra series produce more vivid and lively hues in clothing and sky color than the S22 Ultra. Based on this front-facing camera video comparison, it can be concluded that the S23 Ultra front-facing camera produce better video quality compared to the S22 Ultra. The HDR feature on the S23 Ultra front-facing camera appears significantly better with sharper object detail and more vivid color saturation. However, the S22 Ultra front-facing camera is capable of producing an interesting blur effect in the background, perhaps due to the higher resolution 40 megapixel camera being used. Next, we will review the rear-facing camera on both smartphones in the children's playground during daytime. For the differences in the rear-facing camera video results at this location are not significant and are relatively small. The videos captured with one egg lens appear very similar and only have minor differences. With the S23 Ultra series appearing slightly more detailed and sharper and also presenting higher contrast compared to the S22 Ultra. The HDR feature is also slightly better and improved in the S23 Ultra. But sometimes the resulting video appears slightly darker due to the higher resolution and resulting in higher detail. Additionally, the S23 Ultra series also present videos with higher color saturation. It can be seen in the bluer sky in the S23 Ultra video. Another small difference is the blur effect on the background which appears slightly blurrier in the S23 Ultra. Furthermore, there is also a slight difference in the lens transition between the two smartphones, with the S23 Ultra series showing smoother transitions. Therefore, in this condition, the rear-facing camera video quality between the S23 Ultra and S22 Ultra is almost the same, with the S23 Ultra series producing slightly better video quality with slightly more detailed, sharper, and higher contrast video, and also presents a slightly more vivid color saturation than the S22 Ultra. Next, we will review the photo results taken with the rear-facing camera on both smartphones in the same location. Here, overall, the photo quality produced by both devices is almost equally good. But there is a slight difference in the color characteristic produced by both smartphones. Here, the S22 Ultra tends to produce photos with a bluer color tone, while the S23 Ultra tends to produce warmer or more yellowish photos. Additionally, the S23 Ultra shows an advantage in terms of brightness and image sharpness. In using the rear camera to take photos in outdoor settings like this, both smartphones are equally very reliable. However, it must be admitted here that the results of the S23 Ultra's rear camera photos has slightly improved compared to the S22 Ultra camera, although the difference is quite small and not very significant. Next, we will compare the rear camera video of the S22 Ultra and S22 Ultra in an outdoor setting during late afternoon towards sunset. In this comparison, for the 10x zoom video on the S22 Ultra, it shows an advantage in terms of better brightness and sharpness in low light conditions outdoors. Meanwhile, for the video with 1x zoom lens, the S22 Ultra shows a slightly bluish color tone, while the video from the S22 Ultra tend to be more yellowish. However, the 1x video on the S22 Ultra is slightly sharper and more detailed than the video on the S22 Ultra. Then for the video comparison in portrait mode, both devices produce accurate and detailed video in selecting the subject. Therefore, it can be concluded that both devices are capable of producing good quality video in low light conditions in the evening with slightly different characteristics in some camera modes. But here, the S22 Ultra shows a more detailed and sharper video quality using both the 1x zoom main lens and the 10x zoom telephoto lens. And based on various comparison of photos and videos taken with the S22 Ultra and S22 Ultra cameras in various conditions, it can be concluded that the S22 Ultra offers an improvement in photo and video quality compared to the S22 Ultra. This difference is noticeable in both the main lens and telephoto lens. Additionally, the HDR feature in the S22 Ultra series appears to be better and more more consistent than the S22 Ultra. In terms of video quality, the S22 Ultra is slightly superior to the S22 Ultra. 
comes with sharper and more detailed video. The video also appears with higher contrast and more vivid color saturation. In addition, the overall photo quality of both devices is nearly the same. However, the S23 Ultra stands out in terms of video stabilization, especially in super steady mode. And even though the resolution of the front-facing camera on the S23 Ultra is lower, its photo quality still manages to be slightly better than the S22 Ultra. The photos have better dynamic range, sharper object details, and more vibrant color saturation. However, the S22 Ultra also has its own advantages such as being able to produce a blur effect on the background in the front-facing camera mode using its 40MP resolution front camera. And if you want to see another comparison video between the S22 Ultra and S22 Ultra, you can simply click on the video that appears on the screen. Hopefully useful, see you in the next video.